Good morning from Port Canaveral, Florida. This is Julia from NASA Space Flight, bringing you a little bit of an update on the seventh Starlink mission recovery efforts. Last night, the sisters Go Miss Chief and Go Miss Tree came back from their mission, and each of them did have a fairing half that was recovered from the ocean with their scoop nets. How awesome is that? Those would be the Amos 17 fairings that were reused on the seventh Starlink mission, and they are actually on the decks of the sister ships right now. In fact, they are getting ready to take them off the decks. So I'm going to give you a little bit of a look at how that looks. Um, right now I have Gomez Tree behind me, and I'm actually going to flip the camera around and let's see what we can see. You can see here that they are removing the recovered fairing half off of Gomez Tree. It doesn't take the large crane to move the fairing halves. So this operation is a little bit faster. Docked in front of Go Miss Tree is Go Navigator. They went out on a mission on Friday just off the coast of Port Canaveral and Cocoa Beach. And they were using that Crew Dragon vessel that we talked about last video to do some practice retrieving it out of the water. Here's another look at that fairing half as they're moving it. If we keep going farther down the docks, you can actually see that they made room for, of course, I still love you. So that wedge right there actually enables them to dock and not worry about bumping against the side of the pier. A little bit farther down and you can see, just read the instructions. Of note, there are no thruster pods left on deck, which means all four thruster pods appear to have been installed on each of the corners of, just read the instructions. There is a rather large work crew here today working on board. And I've got some more pictures of that to show you as our view here today is a little bit gray and muddled on the video, but we'll get you some better shots. And then of course you can see Go Ms. Chief. Go Ms. Chief is also in the process of getting ready to unload their fairing half that was recovered. And they are just now removing the tarp and exposing that recovered fairing half. So all of these operations will be complete before of course, I Still Love You comes back with B1051. I was thinking that they may be here tomorrow morning, but unfortunately, I seem to have kind of lost tracking for the moment, so I'm not exactly sure where they are. So that's something we'll keep an eye on today. Ooh, it looks like Gomez Tree has offloaded her fairing half and is actually on the move. So we have a little bit of a treat here. We're going to see Gomez Tree do some maneuvering. Now the thing about these vessels is they are considered fast ships. Just like the other vessels of the SpaceX fleet, they are offshore supply vessels that have been modified. These specifically are faster offshore supply vessels. During mission, I have seen them go up to at least 21 knots. When they're going to and from the recovery zone, they appear to average about 14, 15 knots to get to and from. They are very agile as well. They can basically spin on a dime, which I'm hoping we get to see here. Perhaps they're going to just do a turn. They can also basically slide right in sideways to dock. So as far as maneuverability in a tight port, they've got that going for them.
And there's our clue as to where they're going. They're actually heading over toward Gomez Chief, and it appears they will probably dock behind them in between just read the instructions and Gomez Chief. So we should get to see them sliding into their dock space. So I noted that there were a few questions about this mission and why they didn't use the nets. Now during the webcast, there was talk of a software update. What is unique about these ships when they are on mission is they are autonomous during the catch phase. So you do have a full crew on deck or on board. Wow, it looks like they are just going to be swapping spots. So when they are out on mission, what happens is when the fairing is released and the parafoil is deployed, a signal is being sent down to these ships. And the ships actually receive the signal from the falling fairing and they work with a program that is a, a software program that guides the ships into place to get them in the optimal position as the fairings fall down to give them the best chance to catch. Now you can imagine this is not easy with one ship. You add two ships to the mix and now you have two ships that have to dance while two different fairings are coming down and sending signals. That software update may be the result of missions that they've gone out on and they've done some learning of what maybe can be achieved. So part of these software programming means that um, if there is a chance of collision, you're actually going to see a ship auto abort. Whether that be a collision between the fairing or the other ship, neither would be a good case when you're out at sea like that. So your primary mission of catching is out of play at that point, and then they'd have to deploy those scoop nets in order to fish it out of the water. So I don't think they're gonna give up quite yet on the whole idea of catching a fairing, just because those secondary nets are actually there to scoop them out and it seems they're having a uh, easy enough time refurbishing those and letting them fly again. As you can see, Gomez Chief is actually showing us what it looks like to slide into your parking spot. They've offloaded their fairing half, so they're just going to go to their place at the docks while we've got Gomez Tree taking her place up here to offload. Take a closer look at that. So it appears on this mission, the nets that I saw that were rigged were probably just the scoop nets. They may have been aware that the software wasn't quite ready for this mission and opted to not do that at all, or the software was in place and perhaps there was a glitch. That's something we'll actually never know. All the same, it looks like we have two fairing halves that were successfully recovered and have a chance to go on mission again. So that will be another first for SpaceX. As you can see, this is definitely a working port. So we've got a barge going out with a tug assist right now.
And now Gomez Tree is in place to have her fairings removed. I hope you enjoyed our little trip to Port Canaveral to check on Go Ms. Tree and Go Ms. Chief this morning. They did indeed fulfill their mission of recovering a fairing half each, which means we may see these fairings fly for a third time. I look forward to being here in Port Canaveral, hopefully tomorrow for the return of B1051. That will be brought in by Finn Falga on Of Course I Still Love You. Of course, we'll check on more of the just read the instructions progress as it looks like they have quite a large crew on there today. So we'll see you tomorrow. Until then, you stay safe. Bye now.